Good morning, Judy Allen here. We'll keep it simple and st or step it up. We're doing both today. So with that, I want to say a couple things. We're going to be doing the awesome otters, which are cute and fun. I already did one. I showed you a picture that I did for a class for this afternoon. But anyway, we're going to create two other cards. This is a free um, stamp set that is with Celebration. And I will be doing a separate video showing my favorite designs in Celebration and in the new mini catalog. But it is free with a $50 purchase, as well as the paper I'll be using. It's, it's free as well with a purchase. So if you would like a catalog, just message me and I'll get a catalog to you. All right. So I would also like you to sit there and pray for my techie and her colleagues. A number of them have been sick uh, with COVID variant. And we just want to pray for them to have a very speedy recovery and get back on their feet again. All right. So with that, let's go down to the hands and let's get started. And if you're out there, say hello, comment, or if you have any questions, feel free to put it out there. If I don't see it now, I'll address it later. All right. Okay, let's go. So this is a very cute set. And then as I was showing you, it is free. So it's with a $50 purchase of Celebration. It's only for January and February. You can see some of the cute designs that they already have in the catalog. We're not going to be creating those. We're going to be creating our own. And then they also have this paper that is free with a $50 purchase as well, too. And But we are going to be using that paper. But it's Celebration, and it is January 4th through February, the end of February. So if you're interested, you need to be sure to get involved in that. And text me or message me if you have any questions. So with that, I'm going to start off. I already stamped this here. And it's because it's for all my peeps and friends. I love the little 3x3 three three cards. And we're going to make this, this one right here. And this one I'm going to make, it could easily be, I'm going to do a congratulations card. Because it could be somebody that had a baby. And I'm going to do it all in blue. And just to give you an idea of what it would look like on a little 3x3 three three card, because one thing I really like on this too here, it says, you are utterly awesome. So even a newborn baby is utterly awesome. I always like babies. So today, the technique we're going to use when we do this, we have two choices. We can either use, we're going to, for sure, we're going to use this. This is called a stamp and blend. So I'm going to turn around for you so you can see. And see if I can see. It's a blender pen, all right? And I can use this blender pen either with pencils. These are watercolor pencils, or I could use it with ink. And I decided today that I was gonna go ahead, uh, yesterday uh, when I made it for the class today, I used the pencils. And we'll see, maybe the second round, we make the second card, we'll sit up there and use ink, and I'll show you that one. I'm using, this isn't the one I really want. I really want, Pacific Point. As you can see. So you can just see they all have their names on it. This one says Balmy Blue, which should be about the blue of that color there. And we're going to test it on a sheet of paper just to show you. And I'm looking for the color I'm looking for. There it is. Right there. Is that it? No. All right. Uh, maybe I've got the wrong case. I'll set that one aside too. That's a possibility. All right, let me set this one aside. Let me get the other. There's two sets of pencils. So this one is, I can't see what it says there. This is watercolor pencils. They have the colors on back. So let me see if I just mixed up the wrong one. Huh. All right, I don't know why I'm not finding my Pacific Point one that I wanted. Oh my gosh. Well, that's not true. All right, we're just gonna go with what I have. Let's see what it looks like. And maybe we will and maybe we won't because I'm just double checking because sometimes we do. That's night and navy. Sometimes, not myself included. Oh, here it is. Put it in the wrong pencil case. All right, and I did that because I was working with these pencils yesterday so I had nobody to blame but myself. Okay. So all I'm going to do with this, and I'll show you on my scrap piece of, I'll just show you right here on this piece of paper. So just to give you an idea of what we're going to do 
and I'm going to show, show you the different colors. colors. So I'll just, just put them in order. order. Especially that. Just to give you an idea so you can see. There's always choices. And you know, if something's too light, you can always come back and do something different. Uh, add some more color to it. So this one here is the first one that I'm going to be using, I believe. But see how when I add my pen here? I'm taking the color and I'm blending it, smoothing it, but also be the color I want, right? It could be any color. If you use your pen, I just take it and wipe it off. Get the extra ink out. Here's the next color. Let's see what it's going to look like. Okay, it's a nice color too. I like this one. I'm the beach. I'm a beachy person. I like the beach. I like this one too. Okay, and this one. Alright, that'd be nice together. Alright, so I'm going to move my bomb blue out of the way before I accidentally use it. And then I have, the other one I have is Bermuda Bay is the color. So from here, I'm going to get a little card like this and all. All I'm going to do it's just color, color right? right? I'm just, just going to put this here. I'm, I'm, he's he's going to have blue eyes. And you know what? I don't see any browns. So I really have to color the otter, right? Okay. And then I just go over some of the main lines that I know I'm going to color. And something like this, I just put a little dash in it. Because it's going to blend. It's going to spread it out. So I know that already. And then I can do the same with that. So I just come across all these main lines. I mean, I can tell I'm so in the beach mode because I don't even think about coloring the otter. Hello. And he's going to have a color. He's not going to be that any color. Alright. So before I get all crazy with my blue, I'm still going to go ahead and color some of this in. I don't have to do be exact up to the point line because my blending pen here will take care of that. Okay? So that's one thing I like about this here. And it is, again, like I said, if you don't have enough color and you want more color, and all you gotta do is come add it, you know, a little bit darker, I just come and add it with a pencil. And this is the spot right here. Okay, I think I got all that. Okay, now, I did forget about coloring otters, so I had to actually get a brown out, right? Otters are brown, my. Okay, let's see what we have. Yeah, this is early espresso. Give us some color choices. And like I said, if you're out there, say hello. I always love to interact with um, people when you're out there. Just to say hello. Uh, if you watch later, be sure to say replay. And if you have any questions or comments, you know, you should put them out there. All right. I was looking to see what I have in a light brown up here. And I don't. I might have to come back and color. Uh, let's see how light I can get the espresso. Okay, let's see what we can do with espresso. All right, let's see what it's going to look like as it is. It's just been crazy busy. Let's see how light we can get it to go. Okay, I might come a little bit better if I get it really light, right? All right, let's try that. I'm gonna just try just doing a few little marks because I really don't want the inside. And I just do, do it real lightly like this. Why? Because I know I can color it in and come back and add color. And I want the inside to be the line. And that's what I want to get. I want the other on the outside. And see how I can just pick up a color like this? So I didn't, as you can see, I didn't use much pencil. But because this has got type of liquid in it, it's a moist pen, you can see it's actually moving that color around really nicely. Now if I want to get some really accent onto the colors right there, then all I'm going to do is outline it. So this goes back to just regular, think about when our coloring days when we're younger, and you might still do it now when you color. I know I sometimes do, depending on what I'm doing. We went and outlined all the images but see, when we do that outline, like this, and it gives us, and give it a darker color, right? You come color in the inside. And so that's what I'm going to get right here. I'm going to get a really darker color here. Okay, and that's my goal. Now here, I'm going to color more here, because I really want a darker color, right? I want to distinguish between the otter's belly and the rest of the otter. So I'm actually going to color more in here now, because I don't want to dilute the color. 
I want a darker color. So that's the thing you got to keep in mind when you're using the pencils and the blender pen is what do you want, you know? And the nice thing is, is I can do this and I can still come back with the pencil and more color, right? I just gotta let the paper dry. And see, that's most probably not as dark as I wanted it because the uh, picture I posted, you know, you can see that it's a lot darker. We're gonna go ahead and color and see what we get and then we can come back and add more, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. And for me, right now, I can already tell you, I want it dark, a little bit darker, because I really want to distinguish between the, ooh, I just cut the eye. Okay, I wanted this, this the otter out here to be a little bit darker. Now, I'm going to touch the eyes. So I put some blue there, and I want to, hopefully, that blue's going to come out. Hopefully, I didn't mess that up, but pretty blue eyes. Boop, boop. All right. So I'm going to let it dry a moment. And while it's drying, let me make sure there's nothing here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this while that's drying and then I'm gonna come back and add some more. So that's all we're doing, right? So basically you got a card I could have done in ink. You know what, and if I can't get it as dark as I want it here, then I might just touch some of that ink on it, but I usually can do it with pencils as well. Because, you know, if you're traveling or something, sometimes it's easier, but Really and truly, you got those little ink spots. The little ink spots that we give with our paper pumpkin are really easy to carry with you anywhere. And it's got a multitude of colors. So I'm just going to make sure the blue's off this before I move on. And then I'm just going to come through here where I did this light other color. And it's just a blue, um, I think of it like a push green. You can see that it's different than that other blue. But it's to me it's nice because it gets that whole ocean water look and I actually have seen otters I've actually seen otters up in Victoria Canada watching families of them swimming around playfully parents watching after the kids you know sort of like us watching after those kids while they're playing but it was so nice to see the family of otters together it's not something you get to see in San Antonio Texas but in Canada up there in Victoria at the harbor there's always all kind of activities including seals and occasionally there will be an orca all right so i am going to go ahead and add looks like i missed a little bit here so i'm just going to add a little bit of this lighter color here and there's a spot right here it looks like i could have gone darker here so this one here i wanted a little bit darker i couldn't really see it all right, it feels like I'm doing crayons today versus making cards, but that's okay. It is part of making cards. It's coloring, right? I'm coloring my colors in, again, the way I want it. There you go. See, and then I get them nice and cute. So cute already. Doesn't really need me to make it cute. And I'm just gonna add, now it's dry. So I'm just gonna add some more brown because it wasn't quite as dark as I wanted it. But I can make the otter's eyes Sparkle with some mink of Stella. Yeah, right? I like Wink of Stella. Wink of Stella makes things sparkle. Alright, with just a pen. Alright, I'm just going to touch it up there, smooth it out. That is one thing about this. Here, you can't smooth out crayons, but I can surely smooth out this. Alright, there we go. All I'm going to do is just put, so we got to just, it's just simple. Just simple there. We didn't do anything overly complicated. Just darkening the eyes there. If I wanted to darken the nose, that could too, but there was a little sparkle in the eyes. So that would be it. This would be a very simple little that you could put on a gift uh, package, especially I think of a baby, you know. Yeah, we have this beautiful paper, and the reason why I say that, because see how pretty this would be if you put it on something like this to give it as for a boy in here for a little girl right i can envision putting a bow on the top of the otter's head for a little girl i think the little boy i'd leave him alone but with this the only other thing i'm going to do is stamp and put congratulations and because i was thinking the boy i'm going to go ahead and use pacific point as a color and all i'm going to do is take it and stamp it and on here and just have create a little tag what we call a tag they'll have congratulations and 
yeah, you're gonna see I put two stamps. I got a stamp on this side, congratulations, not on this side. Just so I didn't have to use to change out blocks. And I'm just gonna stamp it down here because all I'm gonna do is cut it, make a tag, just a small tag, right? Get a small card and just need a big, big tag. Because it's only, keep in mind, when you make these in, for, the, for my peeps and friends that love this size, card that I've made right here is a three by three so you need to make sure that whatever you're gonna stamp is gonna fit across that three by three right and there's a lot of stamps out there that'll fit there you can get a thank you and everything but we don't want to cover up the otter right so all we have to do now is just take this and stamp and cut it and put it on so I actually um, actually I'm just gonna cut it here because it's just easier to work with with me and all that paper hanging around you can see us busy creating so it's just you know for a tag you know sometimes we think it has to be complicated and it's not I'm just gonna cut you can see I stamped and I'm just gonna cut around what I stamped and then all I'm gonna do is stick it on here I can do it with dimensionals I most probably will because I like doing dimensionals and then it's done, right? Now, because it's a smaller card, I'm going to use the lower dimensions because it's going to give a little lower height. And I'm just scrambling through all my little dimensional stuff here. I don't see the mini ones. And it's not because they're that small either. Here they are. It's like lays. All right, so that's all we're gonna do here, and then we're ready to do the second card, right? So yeah, it's gonna take a little bit longer because we're doing this all from scratch. I didn't pre-cut any of this today. I'm gonna pre-do any of it for you. Just doing it live because I wanted to show you the technique of using the blender pen. Let me check that again because there's there's two different. Yeah, it's just blender pen. The other ones are actually color blender pens. So, I'm just going to put this up here, or I could put it down here, and I think I'm going to put it down here, because it'll match my water real pretty, and then I can just put a message on the inside. Could I put bling? I could. Um, right off the cuff, I'm not sure what bling I would want to put on there, so I'd have to think about it, but I could, right? Okay, so let's go on to the more step two one, challenging one here. I have choices. This is the beautiful marbled paper in the celebration catalog. Now, because I've got the water and everything and all, I wanted to go ahead and bring out the otter, the color of the water. So I actually have used this balmy blue. It's balmy blue. Let's see what I got here. I have balmy blue. That's what it is. All right, so all I'm gonna do here is I've got our little guy, our little guy, to be a girl. I don't know why I said that. Just a little, it's just too cute. Let me flatten this out here with my phone folder. Okay, so I've already pre-stamped. So we already know I'm gonna do something, right? Something different. So I'm gonna cut off this excess paper. So I have a tendency when I'm creating, which I've been creating less. I usually create every day, but Seriously, making a big mess and everything last day. So I already know it's going to do this, and I already sat there and cut out a couple of things as possibilities. And actually, I might change my mind on this. I need to actually size this down because this is a folded. It is a four and a quarter by five and a half sheet of paper there. So I'm going to size this down to a four by five so I can at least get the background there, right? Let's toss that aside. Yep. And that's how I end up creating my messes, right? Because I just sort of toss it aside and I move on to the next creation. But that's okay. Oops. My husband. My sweetie knows it, my children know it, my grandchildren know it, my friends know it. When I'm in a creating mode, I, that's exactly what I do. And, but I clean up my messes, so that's the important thing, right? I clean up my own messes. So I know whatever mess I make when I'm creating, 
I have to clean it up and I have to get things organized again. So, so if you don't, you can't find it, right? Okay. So always, so all I'm going to do is put this here. And what I really had wanted to do is I wanted to do like a whole dimensional thing. When I say that, it was like a layering. I wanted to sort of do like a layering. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because I need to stamp them on here, right? But what I wanted to do was to put like a window pane because I actually came and I created and I, I sat there and die cut this out. Oh yeah, I think you'll see it. We'll see it. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so if you're live and you think of something else, you say, no, 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 let's not do that. Then you know what? We can change that. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it and it's got the whole water look behind it. I like that. So, you know, if I really, oh, I just stuck my finger in black ink. That is always cute and it's nice to know that my techie and people make sure I have. <laughs> Looky there. Ah. All right, it's a good thing that'll come off later with soap and water. If not, old school washing dishes will take care of that too. All right, let me move this aside a second since I've officially got ink on my thumb. Just give this guy the side a second. I don't know why I keep him calling that, but it's okay. Now I'm just calling it the otter, the cute little otter. And you know what? I'm going to stamp it here. Put it right in the center. Okay. And I'm not sure I'm not going to call it, do it right now because I can actually color it later with my blending pen and I'll show you that. This isn't normally how you would do it. But I usually try to keep these in a certain time frame for you. And I guess I'll always show you easier later. I at least want to get it set up, right? Because even sometimes when I create, I'm just not sure what I'm going to completely do. But I do know, I do know that I want this here. And I do know that I want this here too. So it looks like it's got a picture frame, right? That's what I want to do. And I can actually put this up on dimensional too, but if I do that, that makes it a little bit more difficult to sit there and color, but I can do it. All right, so let me show you how I can do that. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way all the time, but it can be done. It can be done. I'll show you. The worst case scenario, if it doesn't turn out the way I want, so I can take it off and do it again, but that is never my objective, right? Because that means then that's just something I'm gonna have to go and redo over and it's all about time, right? If we had time just to deliberately mess something up, which I shouldn't say that because I must probably have done that before just so I could see what would happen. But as a whole, on a normal basis, that's just not something we do, right? Ah, yeah, that's small dimensional. What happened to my big ones? Um, so anyway, that's just all. As you notice, I just tried to as I stamped that guy out, you know, I was sort of practicing. I practiced with some colors just like I did just then to see what kind of colors I want. Because I just off the cuff don't always know what colors I want. And it's just a matter of lining this up. Because all, okay, so the way I did this is this is a die. So you see I cut out the same die, but what happens is they had a smaller die. Um, this would normally be solid, and I just sat there and put this smaller die in at the same time I cut out the other die so it would cut out the middle. So that's all I did. I just did it all in one sweep. Just makes it a lot easier that way. It's just a tip for die cutting if you want all the extra stuff. The window effect that I'm gonna get here. So yeah, so you can actually, I know it's hard to believe, but you can actually put more than one die in your die machine at a time as you're cutting, which is nice because then that means that's less times that you run things through. So when I put something in my die cutting machine, I try to put in everything that I can and run it through. So like yesterday I was doing hearts. So there's like three different sizes of hearts. And so I just made sure I put them all in at the same time. All right, now looky there. 
boop, boop. I've got my whole window effect. Now I do have to color them. So I do have um, my Stampin' Blend pad here. So what I'm gonna do here with this, just a shorter cut to sit there and so of doing the pencil, I'm just gonna take, you can take any um, stamp block. This is just my paper pumpkin great for a lot of things and then I'm just gonna scoop the color off right so I'm gonna first do the eyes so if I run out of time I want you to be sure to see these eyes right I'm just doing nice and blue and I'm just tapping it in the ink just what so you see and you can see I've got ink I got leftover ink there it's not like I ran out of ink and then same thing here so you say well you know I wouldn't only do this why well, wouldn't only do this either but I would, I'm writing, like I said, we're, you know, I'm trying to get done within an hour, not an hour, we're gonna actually try to get done in 15 minutes. We're just making a card. But since we're making two cards, and this one's layered, and allowing 30 minutes, how does that sound? And see, so that's all I'm doing. I can do it right here. I can actually thin out the color too. I don't have any brown, so I'll have to I could most probably, let's see, we'll have to try it out. I've never tried it out. We'll see if we can try it out on paper and get the color off the paper to put on here. I've never tried that. But at least I can get the outlines going and then from there I can start diluting it down, right? And get the color I want. So it is a little bit different than the pencils in that aspect. Can I darken this if I want? Yes, I can. Uh, if I accidentally sat there and got this lighter than I wanted, then I would sit up there and do the same thing. I would sit up there and come back and just add a little more color. And you see, I get, this is lighter, but it's still picking up color. But you know what? I can easily, you see here, so it gives me different shades. And I still got, I still got color on my pen. You see there. Okay, so when people say, well, you know, I don't know if the color, if I'm gonna have, there's not enough color on there, there's color on there, all right? In fact, you can see I have to get it off. So we see that the color from the ink from here is definitely lasting longer than I actually do the pencils. So I'm just going to, I don't have brown, so I'm not gonna be able to finish the otter. I can, but I'd have to go to my other creating area. Yep. I have more than one craft room which I've always had more than one craft room. Actually, every room in this house could be a craft room. <laughs> That's one thing you have to watch out. Every room in this house could be a craft room. All right, so I do not have this one here. Let's see how this is gonna look. I had on the other one I used the Bermuda Bay. And this here, I don't have the Bermuda Bay. I had to go get it out of my kit stuff there, but. Let's see what we got here. Let's see how it's going to look on paper. I'll just do this end down here. Okay, it is lighter. So that's the main thing. I just want it to be lighter than this darker color, right? And all I'm going to do is color it in. And as you can see, it looks different than we did a while ago when I did the other paper, right? Because I used, I ended up using another color. But this one, as you can see, I, I can lighten it up. And I can distinguish between the darker color and that, and I can always come back, right? So I'm just coloring it in. So instead of using a pencil, I'm using the ink from the ink pad, and I'm just working with it, right? Is it going to be perfect? No. You don't want it to be perfectly outlined or anything. Water is water, right? You can color this whole thing if you wanted to. You know, it's just how much do you want to shade in? You know, it's up to you. I've been known to sit there and come in here and do like I'm doing right now and then come back later and say, you know, I want to add a little bit more. And that is not uncommon at all. Not indeed. You know what? We, that's, that's why when I sit there and create something, I usually sit there and put it on display on a stand and let so I can see, you know, if it's like I want it or if I need to do it something else, you know. And you'd be surprised. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but it doesn't matter. I like it to make sure I like it. If not, then I'll change it. Okay, so I still have to come in and finish up the otter, right? Since I don't have those colors right here with me. But I think you get the idea, right? 
So the nice thing is, is you can make your cards as simple as you want or as challenging as you want. You can step it up, keep it simple, or step it up. You know, we, it's designed for beginning crafters, your crafting, just your crafters that like to craft, and for those people that are very avid crafters. Mm -hmm. So we're all levels. But look at that. So I didn't finish coloring the otter yet, but look how cute that is. And you can see how easy it is to come in here. I also have brought options for ribbon. And I have not decided. I thought maybe I'd put a bow at the top. Again, I was going to do a congratulations. It could be a birthday. Let's do at least a quick bow. And then I could add bling, right? You could always add bling. Bling can be added to anything. They've got, you know, I've got some dark colored bling. So you'll just have to wait for me to post later so you can see what this finishes when I get through getting the brown in here. But, oh, let me cut that off. Because even I have my limits of how much length of ribbon I can do. I can work with the paper, but ribbon, it has to be a certain size. It can't be too short and it can't be too long. So you know what, if I make my bow way giant too big, I just keep on tightening it up, right? Now you might have another easier way, if so, please share it. I always look for things to make my life easier. If you're, you know, I'm sure I'm no different than you. We're all looking for ways to save us time, make our lives easier. You know, can we make something cute and simple in 15 minutes or less? You know, with my father, when my father was ill, you know, he, um, where he went home to be with the Lord. I mean, I had learned how to do things in 15 minutes or less because that is all his patience had was 15 minutes. So I could easily put the bow there. I could put the bow to the side over here. I like that. I'm gonna do mine on the side. All right, I'm just gonna use a glue dot and we're gonna call it done for right now until I decide what bling I'm gonna use. Because, you know what, even if my techie is sick, if I don't have bling on his, here, the first thing she says is, you're missing something. I can't figure it out. Well, I already know. And what she thinks about it, she really knows, too. And I'm just going to trim it down, you know? Some people like their bows up. Some people like their bows down. I'm going to do mine like that. I'm going to keep that way. And that. So. Look here, this is so what we've done today. I already showed you online where I set up there and created a card that would be in between because it has hearts on it, I had to die cut it, and so forth and all. And then here, I even stepped it up more, right? Because I added some very beautiful paper here, I picture framed it put dimensionals, put some ribbon on it, so I even stepped it up more. It still needs some bling, so we'll have to figure out our bling, but we'll get there and I'll show you what it looks like. But, I hope you enjoy today. See, get you there and see who those pictures are there. So, I hope you enjoy today with the awesome otters. Like I said, it's a free stamping set with, during celebration, which is only through the end of February. Alright, so with a $50 purchase, you get it free. If you want the marble paper, then you'd have to spend another $50 to get another item free. So it's all based on $50 increments of what you purchase that you get to pick out of the celebration catalogs what you want that is free. All right, so if you'd like a copy of the catalog, let me know, send me a message and I'll get one to you, even if I need to mail it to you. But if you enjoyed this today, please follow us and like us on Facebook. We're also can be found on Instagram YouTube, Pinterest, and if I forgot anything, my techie will let me know. All right, so be blessed. Have a wonderful week. I'll be here Friday on Paper Pumpkin, do an alternative to the Paper Pumpkin kit, tons of pun. And then next Wednesday, I will be doing Keep It Simple or Step It Up with the Rainbows collection in the new catalog and the Rainbow Papers in the Celebration catalog. All right, so be blessed and see you next week. Bye.